Hi, this is Rhys from Credit Serum, and this is the job module. We're going to do timesheets for administration. So we've now got the guys, um, the staff, to um, use the timers and use the clock on, clock off section. They've now done their timesheets. Now it's up to the administration people to now prepare for it to invoicing or to do payroll. So we'll show you how that happens. So in here, in the job module, we have timesheets. Now you have to be an administrator to see the timesheet section. So um, if you see a drop down menu is not showing up, we need to just call us up to put you as administrator. So you click on timesheets and here's all the timesheets you have for the database. We're going to just simply click on new um, and we're going to select the user, which is Pete's uh, pipes in here. Okay, so we click on that person and we're going to choose the start of the week. It's going to be the 10th of May and there's the time. So the previous video we covered that he um, his work hours are 40 hours. He's a um, salary. Uh, he can be a, a um, so salary. He can be subcontract. Now, the county packages all relate to you know how you invoice and push things across. But for this occasion, we're just going to skip through that information. So you've got work hours, time clocks, which is the clock on, clock off, and the activities, which is what you're going to invoice the clients as well. So we're going to save view that section over there, and we're now going to prepare now. For this section here, um, it will tell you that um, Pete is not linked to an employer or supplier because I'm just doing it, um, I'm linking to a record hosted, which is in here. So you can and just record hosted, you've got your employees here, and we'll cover that uh, um, for the record module for that. But you have to, we need to get that information into create up the employees' details before we can um, push it into the council package. And so um, for MIB and Reckon, you can have a uh, subcontract as a supplier and we can do the um, invoicing for that as well. But this occasion, we're going to be warning you, if, um, especially for payroll, you can't do this until we move to the next stage. Um, so over here, we're going to be continuing on, we're going to be um, generating lines for invoicing section in this section here. So, um, so we're going to click generation of lines and we're going to um, uh, um, include activities. Again, this section here, you've got a couple other elements which is set payroll. That's not going to work right now because we haven't linked this uh, Pete into the um, accounts package um, in the payroll section, so we're not going to do that right now. So for payroll, we need to have that on. Um, and um, so the next section is we're just going to focus on invoicing lines. So activities here, we're going to be grouping them into whatever we want. Now this will stick to per user, so you only have to do this once. Um, so when you click on here, we're going to say we're going to group by actual company so that makes sense because you want to invoice the company for you know we're going to create all these lines to invoice throw it to the um the um county packages so they can put on the time sheet and invoice out to the council package or use our system to invoice someone like zero just doesn't have this ability to invoice so you would have to invoice through us um but we have advantages in many areas for example we might be we probably still need to invoice from us because you can't do time sheets for supplier um so let's go into here so we're going to group by jobs as well and none and none. So we can group on number of levels like jobs, product, service, and if you're doing a lot of timesheets per person, we can do that. Now we've got exclusion sections. Because we do Office 365 um, sync so much stuff, we can say, look, we're not going to bring the emails because we suck emails in there. We're not going to do calls, inbound calls. We're not going to do that. And then we exclude appointments. So. For this occasion, we're not going to do notes, um, not just our scores and meetings. We're just going to do um, joint up activities and meetings is what we're going to charge. So you can define your activities you can charge on as well, um, on there as well. So I'm going to generate lines, generate button here, and we'll uh, create all this. So we've created all these particular um, lines that we can send to the county package here. So we've got a repair job um, section here, which is... Uh, for customer Sam, repair job here, and it brings all the elements here for six point here. I'm going to make that billable as well. This customer product is required in there. So, because I'm going to currency package, I'm going to click on that drop down menu and I'm going to choose a service that I need to push into the currency package. Uh, sorry, so these items are from the surface from the currency packages, so there's a lot of them there. Um, I'm going to just choose one that semi makes sense, splicing for example, and I'll put, choose that across there. And then I'll just um, choose the um, particular um, items in here. Um, let's see if there's any install jobs here, install element. Yep, that's fine. 
um, make that billable, that billable, and you can. It brings in the notes in here of all the timers in here. You can clean that up for you and put other extra notes in here. Um, any comments that they have, you can clean it up. And we're just going to make um, this bullet ball. So we're going to choose the product services in here. It's called Ashes Victory, Strange but True. And go from here. So what this has done is created all the actual. Um, so this has created a um, group by company job as well. So you've got um, two um, lines will be invoiced for um, the SAM Ministries for two different jobs, and you can go through here. Now again, we're, we're not doing payroll. We can delete things that we don't think is necessary to be invoiced along here, and you can just say that. So that is the section there to be in. Um, now you can see here that I've deleted the lines and I can generate invoices in our section. So you can push them across into Redkin uh, for this one, and or we can just generate the invoices in here. This is pretty cool to do. So that's really good for um, you. You're getting them to do timesheets, um, and you don't. You can put them to Redkin, but you can also invoice in our system. So I'm just going to click on this button here, and that would create three invoices in here. So I've created two invoices. Um, along here as well and the reason why I, I said three and two is because I realize it's two companies the same so you can see here it hovers over here and that's really cool because it shows you the invoice that's been created in here you click on that invoice and there it is there's the invoice of that time um, um, items not a reckon so we can push that item into reckon in here uh, we can send the invoice across and we're going to look at um, the other time sheet again here's the other invoices we've created for another company and you can push it and send it across. So pretty much what we've done is in the timesheet section here, you've, we've created some timesheets, we've generated the lines from the activities and we've created some invoices from here to be pushed into Reckon. We can push those elements across as well. So you can, um, with our system, push them into Reckon for the accounts people to um, generate the invoices inside of Reckon. Uh, you do have to tick on is billable or you just simply push them um, into our system as well. Um, and we can push those invoices across. So that's that's the um, um, the side of um, uh, the administration people uh, grabbing the timesheets and then dealing with it in the um, um, creating invoices section. So we'll now go to another video of actually um, doing payroll. So I'll show you how that works.